Hello, this is Marikar from papergoodness.com. Welcome to another watercolor video. Today I will talk about the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolors in their 238 color chart. These are actual watercolor dots of the Daniel Smith colors that are uh, placed on watercolor paper and they're meant for you to try um, the actual paints. I think they're a great way to test the watercolors before you buy whole tubes of them. So today I'm going to show you a paint out of that uh, in real time and I will also talk about some of the qualities of each watercolor. Daniel Smith provides information for each watercolor such as a uh, light fastness rating, whether it's non-staining or staining, uh, whether it granulates and how transparent it is. And I will also tell you the pigment number of each watercolor if uh, if it's available. So the paint out, today I'm going to do just this sheet. There are four in the entire set, the reds and yellows, the blues and greens, the browns and earth colors, and blacks and some uh, special watercolors such as their duochrome and iridescent uh, watercolors. I will do the paint outs in this mixed media visual journal. This is by Strathmore and this is a 140 pound um, vellum finish paper so it's a little smoother than regular watercolor paper. So I want to see how these watercolors will react with this paper. And this is also a very sturdy paper. I think I'll talk about it in a different review. But I would, um, I like to keep my swatches in a permanent form. That's why I will use these, uh, this notebook. So I have this sheet for today. Now I will just zoom the camera. So let's start. I will use a water brush to do my paint out today. And we're going to start with Buff Titanium. It is PW61, that is the pigment name. This is a semi-transparent color. And it, it's a granulating color. It is non-staining and has an excellent light fastness rating. Most of the Daniel Smith watercolors are very light fast. So, see that, you can see, and what I'll do actually is to pre-wet the paper so you'll see how the watercolor uh, flows. This is the Nickel Titanit Titanit yellow. It's BY53. This is a semi-transparent color and it is granulating supposedly, but I'm not seeing much of it. Um, I guess I have to remember that this paper that I'm using is fairly smooth, so we might not see a lot of granulation. Next is Bismuth Vanadate Yellow. This is PY184. very nice and bright. Next one is Hansa Yellow Light. It's PY3 and it is a semi-transparent color with a very good 
light fat fastness and it's non-granulating. Next is Azo Yellow. This is PY fifty oh, PY one fifty one <clears throat> with an excellent light fastness rating. It's semi transparent and it's non granulating. And I like this very much. It's a nice bright color. Next one is cadmium, cadmium Yellow Light Hue. This is PY53, PY138, and PY3. <clears throat> so it's a mix of three pigments. This is semi-transparent, non-granulating, and it has a very good light fastness rating. Next is the Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. This is semi-transparent. It's non-granulating. And it has a low staining um, quality. And this is PY 53, PY 151, and PY 83. Again, three pigments. Next is Aurelin. This is PY 40. It also has cobalt yellow um, in parentheses. I don't know if that means it's uh, I guess that's, that's another name for this pigment. It's PY40. And it's transparent with a very good light fastness and it's non-granulating. And it is low staining. Next we have lemon yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is PY175, transparent, non-granulating, low staining. Then we come to cadmium yellow deep hue. Go wash my brush out a little bit. And this is semi-transparent, non-granulating, and non-staining. And this is PY53 and PY83. We come to the second on top. I think I'll do two at the time, two across before I go down. Okay, here we go. This is the next one is Hansa Yellow Medium. PY97, semi-transparent, <clears throat> non-granulating color. So I have heard, this is the first time I've seen this color, that this is a good, like neutral yellow, it's neither too warm or too cool. So the next one over is cadmium orange hue. And this is a three pigment mix, PY53, PO73, and PY83. Semi-transparent color, non-granulating, 
and low staining. Uh, that's a little more opaque than I was expecting. But, yep. Nice color. Very bright. And then we have Mayan Yellow. This is PY223. This is a transparent, non granulating color and it's non staining. And then we go to Perinone Orange, which is PO43. This is semi-transparent, non-granulating, but it is staining. But that is a nice bright color. Wow. Nice. And then we have Naples Yellow, which is a three pigment mix, PW4, PY35, and PR101. So this one, Naples Yellow, is semi-transparent and it's non-granulating. That's a nice peach color. Next one is Cadmium Red Scarlet Hue. A three pigment mix of PY53, PR254, and PY83. Semi-transparent and non-granulating, low staining color. Down we go to in Indian Yellow. This is PY97 and PY150. It's a transparent color, non-granulating, low staining. Go add a little more. Let it mix to the water right there. Nice color too. Very warm. Then we have the Transparent Pyrrole Orange, PO71. I've heard a lot of good things about this color, so I'm excited to see it in person. This is a transparent color, and it's non-granulating and low staining, PO71. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. It's a nice warm color. 